Hello everybody, and welcome to Ryan Knight Plays Subnautica. I decided to do something a little bit different. I haven't played too many of these open world survival type games, but this is one I've heard a lot of good things about. The sequel to it, not so much, but I think that's just comparing it to this, which just further speaks about how great this one is. Uh, let's go ahead and get on into it. I'm excited for it. Start a new game. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll jump into hardcore. I think that's something more for people who've probably played this before. But survival will be fine. We'll have to manage a few things, but... Probably not everything. I do know a little bit about this game, but not too much. then. This is a pretty intense start. Yeah. Uh oh. I'll right click that. Okay. <laughs> already kind of injured myself by walking into fire. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. All right, so press tab to open or close. One, two, three, four, and five to select corresponding quick slot. All right. Uh, so I guess we landed safely. Uh, one of the things I do know about this game is it takes place on a water planet medical kit. Picked up some first aid. Uh, looks like we have some flares, some water, and some food to start things off. I'm guessing this is our health, our food, and our water. Go ahead and put that away. Probably go ahead and eat this food. And we'll bring the water with us. I don't know how fast all that deplenishes. And... Oh, I have to use it from this menu, I guess. Go ahead and consume. Oh, neat. We can go above 100%. So I guess we're nice and full. We'll go ahead and heal up. And we'll... S well... Can we go above 100 water? No, we can't. That's fine, we're in a good spot now. Let's see where we landed. I'm guessing that's what we escaped from. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. All right. I uh, see a little something over there. 
well, not the Aurora, but something in the water. Other than that, oh, there's a fish jumping in and out. I guess we can go try to see what that is. It's kind of our only real indication of something. This is definitely a pretty world. Uh, judging from what I can see, that might just be a uh, bit of coral reef. Yep, not much going on there. So I wonder what we should be doing. Apparently we should be breaking some limestone. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Well, I mean, if we can break copper with our, uh, was that limestone? Yeah, if we could break limestone with our hands, we're already in a pretty good spot, I think. Oh, looks like some crate. The sea glide fragment. Can't interact with it. That's fine. Let's actually go back to our life pod. I don't think we've explored it fully. Maybe look for some more limestone to break along the way. Oh, metal salvage. So that we can pick up. What's up, little guys? You guys wearing gas masks? Oh, maybe that's why. Oh. Thank you, AI voice. Yeah, that... We can hold our breath for quite a while, but that's still not the greatest. Okay, so we need a repair tool to repair some of this stuff. Uh, oh, we're 44% of the way to another medical kit. Use fabricator. Guess some gray stuff we can't do anything with. Oh, turn our metal salvage into titanium. That'd probably be useful. And now we can do some stuff with these. A standard O2 tank. That should allow us to stay underwater longer. A high capacity O2 tank. So now we can make this. We just need a standard O2 tank. Glass. More titanium, it's the silver. Can also make some fins. Okay, so this is, must be like our. Okay, so we need some silicone rubber and some cave sulfur in order to build the repair tool. Silicone rubber. We can get two of those from creep vine seed clusters. So we gotta find some of that. Make water uh, with bleach or ingredients unknown. Bleach requires salt deposit and corrib to sample. Oh, some acid mushrooms with our copper ore will make a battery. Uh, we should probably get a goal. I think the repair tool will be our first goal. So we need cave sulfur and silicone rubber. For that silicone rubber we needed, what was it again? Creep vine seeds. Alright. Uh, 
Let's go ahead and try to find some of that stuff. Probably be in the water. Oh, that's a pretty dark cave. Pick up some quartz. Wasn't part of our goal, but why not? Oh, can the, we replenish our air in this? Yes, we can. So that can allow us to stay underwater longer. Oh, you're a bright little fish. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Apparently I can just grab fish out of the water. It's pretty neat. Oh, they do swim pretty fast though. Okay. Oh, those kind of look like what we're looking for. Oh, let's just make sure we're topped off on air before we go too deep. So I think one of these clusters will make two silicone. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Oh boy, it is plenty dark down here. What's this? Creature egg. We'll go ahead and pick that up. Oh, something didn't sound very nice. What is this? Uh, 30 seconds. Do they all glow like that? Cause that doesn't look good. All right, this is actually becoming an issue with how dark it is. Maybe we should change our priorities to a flashlight. That's our life pod. Alrighty. Yeah, what do we need to build a flashlight? Because I can't see a thing. Uh, there we go. Fabricator. Sustenance. Water. Oh, the bladder fish can be turned to water. Well, that... Okay, so that's the filtered water ingredient we didn't have. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm guessing the other fish can be turned to food. Uh, or we could cook the bladder fish. Uh, we don't really need food right now. We did need water. And I imagine these will go bad over time. Let's see. Make our silicone. We did not get enough, or we did not get uh, any sulfur, but it got so dark. Tools. Oh, we can make a survival knife. That could be useful. Let's go ahead and do that. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Well, the way I kind of was swinging it, it could be deadly enough. Uh, personal tools. So we need to make a battery and we need glass. Basic materials. Oh, we can make glass with the quartz. Didn't even know I needed it, but it turned out to work out for me. Then a battery, we need some acid mushrooms. I think we saw those. I hate leaving that menu. That's fine. Will they glow as bright 
They do glow, okay. I didn't even realize we could pick these up. I thought it was just decoration. One, two. That's everything we'll need. Fabricator. Let's go ahead and make a battery. Oh, we unlocked power cells. Those require two batteries and some rubber. Not important for the moment, but it'll probably be useful. There we go, now we got a flashlight. I think if I right click, yep, I can turn on and off. So, let's go back and I think we have enough silicone still. Tools. Repair tool. Yep, we need more titanium now. And the cave sulfur. Uh, let's go ahead and consume some of the water we just picked up. Oh, that creature egg takes a lot of space. Oh, and we were pretty low on water. Whoop. This menu is tab, the other menu is escape. Let's put some of this stuff away. Uh, like that. Takes up a lot of space for no good reason. Oh, and we can assign these to slots. No, I want that slot one this slot too. Probably don't need to be carrying fish. Can I just unequip it? I can. Excellent. Uh, we Actually, no, we don't need the quartz, but we do need the silicone rubber for what we're getting ready to make, the repair tool. Alright. Now that we have a Oh, and now that we have a flashlight, the light came back. So the sulfur is probably going to be in these caves somewhere. It is still a little dark here. Uh, we can pick up some more quartz. Seems like a useful thing to have. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during Planet 4. Probably shouldn't use a flashlight to break stuff, but it doesn't seem like it did any damage. Uh, pick up 30 seconds. Some more metal salvage. And we've got our brain coral here with another creature egg. I don't know what to do with those yet, so we'll just kind of keep it in mind. What do we got here? Salt. That'll be useful. Okay. Break another limestone. Oh, that was a glowing thing earlier. Oh, they can hurt me. Let's stay away from them. Got some more copper. Probably useful. Oh, what's this stuff? Sandstone. Got some lead. Stalker teeth. That's what that is. Oh, they break their teeth on the scrap metal. That's certainly nifty. Uh, just going for some oxygen. And let's head back down. I imagine all the stuff that I need should be nearby. At least for the early stuff that we can build. We checked in here. Yeah, we did, I think. You. Like 
little jumping thing. Cool. Yeah, it's still kind of dark here. Limestone, copper. Well, we haven't explored here all the way, because... What's that? Alright, let's get out of here. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component uh, of the repair tool. Oxygen. How do I get out? Nope, not a brain plant. Uh oh, we're gonna die already. Out of oxygen. Go, go, go. Uh, luckily, uh, he can hold his breath a little bit longer than that. How do I put this thing away? Do I just equip an empty slot? Okay, I think we got everything we need now. Oh, what is this? Well, that's pretty neat looking. Oh, I can pick them up. Floater. I don't know what I do with it. Put it away for now. Maybe we can cook them or something. Okay. Go ahead and pick that up. And let's use that. Uh, it's almost time for more water. Just probably go ahead and get some more food. Use fabricator. Cook food. Oh, what's this? Cured food. Okay, yeah, the cured food probably lasts longer than the cooked food. But since we're getting ready to eat one right now, we'll just do a cooked food. And then we can cure the other one. Looks like we can't cook a floater. Uh, can we turn a floater into anything? Oh, we can make flares. But I need the cave sulfur for the repair tool. Cool. Let's go ahead and use this. Light pod secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to databank. Looks like we got some data bank stuff going on. Radio online. Signal. Well, that'll be useful. Now someone can come save us. Okay. Uh, we don't want to switch containers yet. We want to eat this stuff. So, open the PDA. Oh yeah, it's got a little timer on it, so it is going bad. We'll eat that. I think we're good on the cured, or we're good on food for now. So we'll drink the water. Uh, we're going to need more water soon. And then we got some stuff we don't need. Uh, we can turn this metal salvage into titanium. Turn the quartz in the glass, but we'll save that for when we need glass. Uh, electronics. We can make copper wire. It's good to know. Uh, let's see here. Nope, I'm done with that menu. We need a new goal. What other tools could be useful? A scanner might be useful. We just need a battery for that. Let's go ahead and escape that. We'll go down. We have some copper already. Oh, hello, guys. Oh, look at that fish. That's a neat little guy. Pick up some of these. Make a battery now.
fabricator. Uh, resources, electronics, battery. And then tools, scanner. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. All right. Uh, what's our next goal? We have a scanner, repair tool, flashlight. We have a knife. Uh, we need some more silicone rubber and a bladder fish, and we can make an air bladder. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, if I recall, the bladder fish were nice and pink. Uh, looks like we're actually pretty close to the seed vine clusters that we need for the silicone. I'm probably also going to want a bigger scuba tank eventually. Oh, we can scan the creep vine. Looks like we're adding a lot of stuff to our Data banks, we'll have to read that soon. 30 seconds. Uh, there we go. Pick one up now. Uh, cut creep vine with a knife. Alright, let's get some air. Oxygen. Knowing that I have a little bit of a grace period is nice. Oh yeah, we're looking for a bladder fish now. They were nice and glowy, but maybe that was just because it was at night time. Oh, nope, I think I see one off in the distance. Let's see a couple of them. We actually should grab as many as we can. Oh, I can scan them. Oh, let me... Equip the scanner. Oh no. Can we scan that? Yeah, we can. Try to do some evasive maneuvers while we scan. Apparently we can scan all kinds of stuff. Stalkers aren't very nice. Everything else has seemed pretty peaceful. Let's pick up this bladder fish. What else can we scan? Some boomerang. Uh, what about these eyeballs? Peepers. All right. There's some more bladder fish. Probably be good to have a good stock of water. Oh, coral shell plate. Let's scan that. Oh, he just has his eye closed. He's a normal fish. Limestone. Titanium. Uh, I've already... Oh, rabbit ray. I already kind of forgot what we came out here for. Not gonna lie. Can't pick those up. Maybe a little bit too big. Oh, what are you? A Gary fish. Oh, <laughs> look how cute he is. Can we scan you? Gasopod. Seems like some things take longer to scan than others. A shuttle bug. Uh, 
What else? Oh, I already scanned stalkers. And the boomerangs. Oxygen. Let's head on up. Let's actually head back to our our vessel. Oh, I can climb from the outside. Cool. Yeah, there's like nothing around us except for that. Uh, medical kit's almost ready. Let's see, we're trying to make. Oh, we unlocked a Pathfinder tool. Oh, that's right. We're trying to make an air bladder. Let's do that real quick. Silicone rubber. And personal tools. Air bladder. Oh, I haven't read what any of these things actually do. Uh, scanner. Spectroscope scanner used to acquire technology blueprints and data on living organisms. Repair tool, a multi-purpose repair tool, functional in all environments. Flashlight, battery-powered, all-environment light source. Survival knife, a standard survival tool, multifunctional. Pathfinder tool, deploys holographic pathfinder disks, used to map a way back out of caves or hard to navigate spaces. Max of 20 disks per path. The air bladder. The emergency flotation device. Chemical reaction produces lighter than air gas for fast personal buoyancy. Guess that'll get us out of the water faster. Uh, flare. Disposable light source. Useful for distracting certain predators. That could be useful. Habitat builder. Fabricates habitat compartments and appliances from raw materials. Sounds like that might be important to build. I don't think this little life pod can sustain us forever. So we need a computer chip, wiring kit, and battery. It's starting to get some advanced stuff there. Uh, electronics. We need table coral. Gold and copper wire. We don't have enough copper ore anymore. What about the wiring kit? That requires silver ore. Okay. Uh, we don't want to make our glass yet. Uh, we're already hurting on food and water again. Let's just make as much water as we can. Yep, that's all we have. Uh, what about equipment? We haven't really looked at this. So our standard O2 tank, that's what we already have. We need two glass, silver ore, and then we can make the high capacity. I think that's more important. Let's see how many glass we can make. Just the one. Oh, uh, what's this? Enameled glass. Glass hardened using a natural substrate. So that's what that stalker tooth will help me for. We don't need it yet though. So we need more quartz for more glass. Oh, we could make fins if we had more silicon rubber. Uh, first aid kits, we get those for free. Fire extinguisher. That might be useful for when we go to explore the Aurora. Uh, pipes. Chain of pipes can be used to transport breathable air from a functional pump. And a floating air pump. Floating device that pumps air into pipes. Acts as a starting point for a pipe chain. So that could be useful if we need to go really deep. We can put some air down there. So the fins, I know how to get that. Let's go ahead and build that real quick. Uh, escape. Actually, what's our inventory looking like? Uh, we have a rotten creep vine sample. Don't know what that was good for. But they said to cut it. So, store that in there for now. Oh, 
that's right, we have our cured fish, so that'll help us. I uh, don't need these. Don't know what this guy is useful for. Maybe we'll unlock a recipe for him. Probably want to equip our air bladder. We need one more silicone rubber. Don't need any of this other stuff for now. Go ahead and drop it off. And there we go. Let's. Oh, I should probably eat my fish. Consume. And drink our water. And we'll have to be on the lookout to collect more of that. Oh, I've got a lot of pop ups up here. Let's start looking at some of these other tabs. Okay, this tells us everything we can make in a different kind of screen. We can even pin the recipes. Oh, that's what the creep vines use for. Fiber mesh. That'll probably come in handy later. In fact, we can make uh, med kits with that. So if we needed a bunch of those, we could just go chop down those plants. Lubricant. Yeah, some of the stuff I don't know exactly what it'd be useful for yet, but... Uh, it says we still have one more thing to look at. Oh, the high capacity O2 tank. Actually, we can go and pin that recipe. So that way, if we find any of that stuff, I think. Might as well pin the fins as well. Both things we want to make. Or I should say they're our top priority at the moment. This could be useful, but maybe not yet. Oh, machines. A sea glide. We don't know what the ingredients are for these things yet. Uh, base pieces. Probably need the habitat builder for that. Probably for most of this stuff. Oh, alien containment. It's probably what we do with those creature eggs. And then, oh yeah, just a whole bunch of stuff there. So the blueprints could be a nifty screen. Uh, what's this screen? Beacon manager. Oh, we can change the color of our life pod. Probably a good idea. Blue on, in the blue ocean can be hard to see at times. Let's change it to, I think yellow will work. Oh, and we can even turn it on and off. So I'm guessing there's other stuff that We'll get beacons for. Uh, oh, we could take screenshots. Cool. Voice log. Oh, this is all the stuff the AI has been saying to me. Well, that's cool. So if I happen to be distracted, I can listen to him again. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Or if I'm just feeling lonely, I can listen to her. Especially because uh, this one right here. Cause unknown, zero human life signs detected. Obviously not too accurate. I'm alive. Then the data bank. Advanced theories. Alien eggs. Alien eggs. Evidence suggests that a substantial number, if not all, of the local species reproduce through egg laying. Eggs can be found resting on the seafloor, buried beneath detritus, or even wedged into cracks in the rock. Different species likely favor different biomes as their nesting grounds. Eggs discovered in the wild are in some form of natural stasis likely awaiting ideal conditions in which to hatch, or the delivery of some vital enzyme which will kickstart the process. It is impossible to calculate the species of the egg from the exterior. However, it may be possible to stimulate a hatching response if an egg is relocated to a suitable alien containment unit. Okay, so I guessed right there. Uh, blueprints. Okay, this is just kind of another way to look at that other screen. 
Oh, actually, it's a lot more detailed. And none of them are new. Oh, boy. It's going to be a lot of stuff to read, I think. We might handle it in bits and pieces. So we'll wait on the blueprints for now and just remember to read all of them. Geological data. Uh, 4546B environment scan. Category 3 ocean planet. Oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere. Extensive biodiversity. Safety warnings. May support Leviathan class predators. Is that like those stalkers? I don't know. Leviathan class seems a little bit bigger than that. Uh, water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. Oh great, I'm swimming in it. Planet is beyond Federation space. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Oh, that's not good. Got a new voice log. Uh, caution, continued degradation. Well, you guys heard it. Continuing to monitor. So, the Aurora's drive core might blow up. Should probably go there sooner rather than later. Back to the data bank. Planet is beyond Federation space. Rescue unlikely. Oh, that's no good. It is not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous material suits and extensive support apparatus. I don't have any of that. I think we're screwed, guys. Limestone outcrops. These unusual geological structures often form around titanium and copper deposits and are distinct to this planet. Closer analysis reveals a stone around the metal has been hardened against erosion, but the mechanism remains unknown. Assessment? titanium and copper source. So that's all we can get from the limestone. We've already gotten a little bit of each. Uh, we have a lot of indigenous life forms to read to. Probably come back to that one later. And okay. So blueprints, indigenous life forms, and survival package. We'll have to remember that. I don't want to spend all our time reading. Especially because our food and water has been going down. Oh, and that shows us what we need. Perfect. So, I know where to get fiber mesh. Oh, I should probably be holding those ingredients just so I don't get duplicates of stuff. So what we'll do is we'll pick up the fiber mesh. Actually, this will give us four titanium right here, and we can scan it. Awesome. Uh, the silicone was these creep vine seeds. Oh, here's some salt. Can we scan that? Nope, can't scan that. I guess everybody knows what salt is. Thirty seconds. Ooh, what's this? Oh. oh, I already scanned it. That's why. Okay. I thought I got interrupted, but I just happened to finish. So we do need some food and water. work our way back up. Probably could have just came straight in here and been fine. Go ahead and cook up our hoverfish. Consider disguising the flavor of unsavory meat with salt or locally sourced herbs and spices. Ooh, we can get locally sourced herbs and spices. Let's get our titanium. And our silicone rubber. Then 
escape out of there. Open this up. Go to our inventory. Oh, everything that shows up shows up as new. Guess that's kind of useful. Not really. Uh, let's go ahead and get our fins. Personal equipment. Fins. Uh, translate vertical limb movements underwater into forward thrust. Enhance swim speed by approximately 15%. Cool. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. I don't know why I would want to override it, but. Oh, and we can unpin the recipe since we made it. So now we need silver and glass, so we need more quartz. And we'll hold on to the four titanium just so I know. We'll also hold on to the glass. Uh, we don't need to pin glass because I already know what we need for that. Uh, oh, we can make lockers. So when we start running out of space, that'll be useful. And we don't have the ingredients for these. That's fine. So put the salt away. Yeah, we're already running out of space over here. Pick up the glass. Oh, we have two quarts. So we can make another glass. Perfect. Uh, why does inventory still have something highlighted? Or it says one. I don't know. Let's... Oh, it's the fins. Okay. Let's make our other glass. So now, all we need to find is silver. It's probably going to be in rocks like the titanium and copper are. Probably those sandstone rocks that we saw. So we'll just have to take a look for that. What are these? Now, oh, can't interact with those. Stalkers sound scary. Ah, uh, yeah, we don't have to go very far before it starts getting pretty dark. Oh, here we go. Let's go ahead and scan this. Just so I can know for certain if I was right. Oh, we got gold. 30 seconds. Try to gather some stuff while we're right here, and then go get some oxygen. So we can find the cell, the sandstone. Oxygen. Oh yeah, we have this inflatable. Oh, that definitely increased our speed. Oh, it's getting dark again. It's fine. We got our flashlight. Let's try not to descend right into that stalker. A little school of fish. Yeah, it looks like this kelp forest kind of has a sandstone. Oh, but I'm leaving that area. Uh, we can use the salt wherever it disappeared off to for curing some fish. Oh, convenient little brain. Ah, I can scan it. Oops. We need to actually have the scanner equipped. Oh, hi, Stalker. Oh, crap. All right. And it's getting... Or it's light out, but it's still pretty dark down here. Oh, we haven't scanned that. 
Oh, that's a repair tool. Hoopfish. Pick that up too. Oh, we never finished scanning the brain coral. It's a stupid stalker. Let's go back to flashlight. Look for some sandstone. Might be some in here. And I was right to assume that. Silver-based wiring kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. Oh, we're getting... I think we need two silver for... Actually, we're getting stuff we need for those electronic parts, too. The habitat builder. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. I don't like how the voice overrides itself. But that's fine. And also, yeah, swimming. Haha, <laughs> water planet. I got it. Uh, what was I gonna say? Kind of got caught off guard by announcements and stuff. Oh yeah, we're looks like we're getting plenty of materials that we need for making those electronic parts for the habitat builder. Oh, we need some more water. Pick up a bladder fish. Go ahead and just start collecting stuff since we're out here. Actually, no, let's, let's go ahead and head back. I just realized the battery depletes on this thing pretty fast. Now, if I press the button again, it puts it away. So that might be useful for swimming faster. Oh yeah, it definitely gets dark out here. Yeah, we have everything we need for a larger O2 tank. Oh, apparently we have a message. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. Hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. So rescue is coming. We just have to hold out for nine, 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 nine hours. <laughs> 